everyone and welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I am your yarn host Jennifer and today boy oh boy am I your yarn host ever. <laughs> it's also Tuesday tea with cinnamon. Um, I have my brand new cup that you will be seeing shortly. I filmed the <laughs> rest of this video before I filmed the intro so this cup will be making its secondary appearance very soon. I'm drinking iced tea. It's the rhubarb tea that I have shown a million times because it's my absolute favorite. The two most delicious teas that I possess currently are the sweet rhubarb from Taylor's of Harrogate, which I frequently drink. And it's a very summery drink. And then when fall comes, I move into the, um, oh, the caramel apple from uh, my brain is spacing. <laughs> Celestial seasonings, I believe. The caramel apple, my second. My, well, it's more of my, my winter and my fall drink. The rhubarb is my spring and summer drink of choice. I have a big picture of it in the refrigerator currently. Because I'm trying to be good with what I'm drinking. And this is so delicious and refreshing. So that is our tea. We got a cool Garth Brooks cup. <laughs> the rest of this video is going to be me showing Happy Mail. So I'm going to give you a little heads up on that. <clears throat> if you watched yesterday's video, you're going to know that I do actually cry in this video. I am completely and utterly overwhelmed with the generosity that has been bestowed upon me. Um, <laughs> for one. <laughs> I was gifted, and I will explain this in the video that you are about to watch, a giant, a giant box of yarn from Europe. And it is amazing, and I highly suggest you watch this video all the way through till the end. I do cry because I was just completely overwhelmed with emotions. Um, not that it's a bad week at all, but I'm, I'm having some feelings. <laughs> I'm human. I'm going through emotional things. And just the packages that I have received. And there's like four more packages coming for me in my P.O. box. I have the app on my phone and it tells me when stuff is coming. I had no idea the European yarn was at my P.O. box because I don't get notified of international packages, especially overseas. Like it will sometimes alert me if I'm getting something from Canada, but very even rarely will it do that. So I didn't know that this big giant box was at the post office waiting for me. And I went there because I got notification for this. <laughs> Among other things, there was a couple of boxes. And now I have notification that four more boxes are waiting for me or coming this week. So there will be more happy mail to be shown last, or ne yeah, last week. Yeah, next week. <laughs> um, I am overwhelmed. I am absolutely overwhelmed. So, with that, I think I say all of my sentiments in the following video that's coming up. Um, thank you. Thank you. I, thank you, and I say this frequently on this channel, thank you does not seem like a significant enough word to express the gratitude that I feel. And I don't have words to properly describe the gratefulness that I feel or the complete unworthiness that I feel. With that being said, I hope you enjoy the unboxing video. I was completely overwhelmed through most of the video. I got off of the camera, I shut the camera down after the video and I cry cried. Um, I had to go, I had to go somewhere else and just say and cry because I was so overwhelmed with emotion. That being said, enjoy the show. Okay, I'm just going to quick record this because I absolutely cannot wait for this. <laughs> this is Happy Mail. I'm going to clip this somewhere into one of my videos. Probably Tuesday Tea. I don't know. I have gotten some amazing Happy Mail this week. I got a package from Belgium. <laughs> I'm freaking out, okay? <laughs> it's a big, I mean, it's a, it's a box. It is... I did the kilos to pound thing to figure out this box is like 12 and a half pounds 
I just barely cracked it open and it is absolutely just gorgeous. <laughs> just gorgeousness. So I wanted to pop on. I wanted to record my reaction because I'm freaking out a little bit. Yesterday I got some happy mail that I'm freaking out about. Like, I feel like it's my birthday. My birthday's not for another two or three weeks. I don't even know. My birthday's August 9th. It's like, I feel like today is my birthday. This is so exciting. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to show the ones that I got yesterday. This is from, let me make sure I get everybody's name right. This is from Darlene in Kentucky. She, I, now I'm going to say this. I did get notification. I got an email that someone else, a very dear friend to this podcast, was also sending me some of this yarn. Um, I'm so excited about this. She found the yarn that I was looking for in Kentucky and she sent this to me. So this is the gl the Big Twist Glam I've been on the hunt for. She got me the yellow, which is called Sunshine Yellow. I'm filming with my camera, so the colors are my phone, so the colors are not going to be as clear or as, as beautiful as they normally are because I did not plan on doing any of this today. And then this is the color mauve. She sent me three of each of these. They are so, 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 so beautiful. And she <laughs> she sent me a little note. So I just wanted to say thank you so much, Darlene. Um, that means so much to me that you sent me that yarn. I'm going to make something absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to think of you while I'm doing it. And then I got, I'm going to save that one. Julie from Washington sent me some books. <clears throat> she sent me Amigurumi Monsters. This is so cute. Um, she sent me One Skein Wonders, which is perfect for me because you guys know I buy a lot of one ofs because I want to try the yarn and I don't want to like buy a whole stack of it if I'm, you know, not going to like the yarn. So I have a lot of one skein wonders. So this is really cool. And it's got littles in here for, you know, my little, my, my baby nieces. And this is, this is all knit projects. So hopefully this will help me to get out of my, my comfort bubble with knitting. Um, she sent me a card. She loves my channels and she wanted to send me some books. That says Julie. Did I say that? Did I say Julie? Yes, Julie. Had, for some reason, I felt like I said another name when I read that. Julie in Washington. And then Mom and Me Knits. This is so cool. So this is perfect for my nieces. I actually have a couple of patterns downloaded that I want to work on. And, ooh, that was a terrible noise. My fingernail graced the page and it squeaked. So, is that not cute? My little baby girl is going to look so much cuter than that. <laughs> I am partial, however. I don't know that the mom patterns will fit me particularly. Because a lot of the, the mom patterns for mom and me only go up to like extra large or 2X. But I love, I love, I love the idea of making baby stuff. Like this is so precious. Isn't that beautiful? So thank you so much, Julie. Amazing. And then I had to go on, I had to go on the Facebook and be like, hey, did somebody send me something from Poshmark? Because <laughs> I got a box from Poshmark and I've never ordered from Poshmark. And also I, I knew that Poshmark sold like purses and like clothes and stuff. I had no idea that they sold anything beyond that because like that's, I, I, Poshmark is a secret to me. <laughs> so I went on the Facebook group. I was like, did somebody send me something from Poshmark? And I got a response back and it's Carrot Boo. Carrot Boo pretty much watches all of my videos. She comments a lot and I don't always have time to answer back to her, but I always do see her. As soon as she told me her, her YouTube name, I was like, I know who Carrot Boo is. <laughs> so in the, I feel like I'm rushing because I'm so excited to get to that box. But I'm also like, dinner has to be started soon. And so I apologize if I seem like I'm rushing. So I had a notification that I was getting something from Poshmark. And I was like really confused. I was like, oh, it sent me something from Poshmark. Like, 
are they sending me a purse? Because that's, in my mind, that's all they sold at Poshmark was like clothes and purses and stuff. Like, you know. <laughs> I had no idea. And so I, when I went to the, the post office and I got this and um, it didn't say who it was from. So, you know, anyway, um, I, I made the video about Garth Brooks. I talked about, um, I, I mentioned in passing that actually it's still on my desk. <laughs> I never put my coffee cup away. That when we went to the concert, I wanted to get the white one of this because when I went to the concert in, I think 2018 in Detroit with my sister, I went and saw Garth Brooks and that's when I bought this cup and they had a white one too, but I, did, I was limited funds. I could not afford both cups. I was like, I'll pick the black because I figured the black would be more dirt resistant or whatever, but I always wanted the white one. And, and I showed this in the video because it is, it has been used a lot over the years. This gets used way more than my cinnamon stitches cups because Garth Brooks. And yes, it's also dirty because it's been set on my desk for a couple days, but <laughs> it is what it is. It is, it has seen better days. I mentioned it in passing because when we went to the, con when I went to the concert with Mr. Cinnamon, I was looking to see if they had the white one and they didn't. And not only did they not have the white one, they don't have these kind of coffee mugs anymore. Even on his website, they have, um, camp tins, which are coffee cups, but they're metal, which I'm not real keen on that because I I mean, I kind of want one because it's Garth Brooks, but like at the same time, it's like I wanted the white version, so I didn't buy anything because I didn't have it. So Carrot Boo sent me this, <laughs> which is the white version of my black cup. <laughs> it, it did arrive dirty, like it had like black crud on it, so this needs to be thrown in the dishwasher. But luckily, I know that it's dishwasher safe because. That one's been around forever. Um, but I freaked out because I was not, I didn't know what to expect. I had no clue what Poshmark sold. And so I am so excited. I'm so excited to receive this. So thank you so much, Carrot Boo. Um, <laughs> I'm going to treasure this. I really am. I'm going to use the heck out of it. It's going to look as bad as this one. But that makes me excited because now if I do break the black one, I also have the white one. And I will remember this as a memory. Um that kind of goes along with this channel, not just the Garth Brooks concert. So that made me super excited. Now I'm going to move this out of the way because I know that I will not get off the desk because we have a lot of yarn to get through. If you don't like seeing unboxings, you don't like seeing happy mail, um, you could feel free to not watch this, but the amount of yarn that is in here and it's from, it's from Belgium. Matter of fact, there's a big packing sticker on it that says Brussels. There's all kinds of like stamps from all the places that it went through. It's just kind of cool. Now, some of these yarns I do recognize because they're right here. <laughs> um, these are sold by Universals, by Universal Yarns, resells the, the Rico Creative brand. And so, yeah, I was excited that these were in here. These are very pretty, and I think I have this exact color. <laughs> so now I have three of these. I'm not going to give you all of the information. Um, I'm going to like skim through these so you can just see. These are Rico Creative Lazy Hazy Summer Cotton. These are available on lots of websites. Um, I believe I got mine from Michigan Fine Yarns, but these are also available through Hersh not Hershers. Universal yarns. They are cotton, polyester, and acrylic. They're really soft and they are very beautiful. Very beautiful. So those were right off the bat on top. <laughs> and then Katia Chromatic. Very beautiful, very colorful. It just feels like cotton. Yep, cotton. I've been just working with nonstop cotton for the past two weeks now. Just nothing but cotton. Although I did work, I'm working, I'm, I just finished the blanket that I started for my niece last Christmas. It was supposed to be her Christmas present, but all that stuff happened and I didn't finish it. 
And so, you know, I just finished it. So that's the only thing I've been working with that's not cotton. This is Lang Yarns. I'm not even going to try to speak a different language because I'm not, I don't. I know that garn means yarn. <laughs> That's what I know. It says 10 years. I don't know what that means. This is cotton. I can tell that it's cotton. I can feel that it's cotton. It's very pretty colors. Very cute. Very cute. I am so excited. I am so excited. Okay. This is Fildar Fill Rainbow. This is 100% cotton. Very pretty. There's so much in here. Oh, this is gorgeous. Okay. This is Allison and May Specials Amazing Cake. <laughs> That's what it says. There's two of them. Absolutely gorgeous. This has the Okotech standard on it. Um, amazing cake yarn, 100% cotton. These are beautiful, absolutely stunning. And I think they're two different, yep, those are two different colors. Oh, they're beautiful. Beautiful. Made in Turkey, 100% cotton. I don't see. I have a really bad headache too, so my vision is 150 grams, 630 meters. Those are so pretty. Um, okay. <laughs> there is, now this is Hobie yarn. Penitone. I have wanted this yarn since they released it, and there's so many different colors of it. Look at these, so pretty. It's so pretty. There's those three, and then there's these three, and then wait, there's more. There's, I got five this time. Wow, severe close up to my hair. There's these ones. Are those not gorgeous? I have wanted to try these, so I'm so excited that these are in here. I'm going to say this. I am like blown. I am absolutely blown away. And I am, I had to compose myself before I came on here because I don't for the life of me know what I do. That makes me so special to deserve any of this. So with that being said, <laughs> thank you so much for whatever you guys send me. I am so, so grateful. Oh, this is pretty. This is pretty. Katya Winter Rainbow. That is very butterscotchy to me. That's very pretty. I am not a big brown fan, but this is gorgeous. It's got a little bead to hold the end. That is so pretty. Oh, there is so much. I'm going to have to elevate this. <laughs> gotta elevate it. Let's just move you this way. All right. That's only the first like third of the box. And then there's this. This looks like it's in Japanese. It's definitely an Asian language. If anybody knows what that says, go ahead and tell me. I have no idea. It is beautiful. This one is 100% yellow, and this one is pink to yellow. These are gorgeous. Beautiful. I have. It feels acrylic-y, maybe? It feels nice. It's so pretty. So pretty. <sighs> Some more of this cotton. Very pretty. Different color. That's what I showed you before. Rico Baby. Dream DK. A little speck. This is so soft. This is so soft. Polyacryl, which is acrylic, and polyamide. That is like butter. 
and some of like some of these yarns are gonna go perfectly with that those books that I got just like absolutely perfect sparkle yarn Soft stretch yarn, 82% acrylic, 12% polyester, 6% metallic. Look how pretty that is. There's this one, and there's this one, and there's this one. So pretty. And then there's party yarn. I have seen some of this yarn, um, not this exact one, this brand of yarn or this style of label in some of the Mary Maxim um, kits, the mystery bag specifically, but also some of the kits in the past. But I ain't never seen nothing like that. It's so gold and glittery. It is. 91% acrylic, 9% metallic, and it's very squishy. It's so beautiful. <sighs> I am so, I am so overwhelmed. All right, this feels like acrylic too. Not acrylic, R cotton. It's 76% cotton, 24% rayon. The rayon is the shiny bits. <laughs> it's the same brand I showed you a little bit ago. It's very pretty. It's very pretty. And then there is some Rico Creative, let's see, light and long tweed. That's the label. These are the colors. Very, this is very soft. And it looks like it's multicolored. Definitely, definitely multicolored. So pretty. Those are so soft. You see, my face is getting red. I'm getting all, <laughs> I'm getting all flushed. Fashion Cottony again by. Rico Design. This one says it's made in Italy. Where are these at? Oh, these are all made in Italy. This is cotton and polyamide. This is really, really soft. This would make such a pretty little hat. It's 200 meters. It's very pretty. And then I am so overwhelmed. <clears throat> creative melange lace by rico creative in these gorgeous colors <laughs> oh they're so pretty <sighs> filled our phil tweety this feels kind of like um i want to say puzzle or the um, the rustic from Premier, it has that similar feel to it. Oh my God, this is so pretty, Katya. Azteca Fine Lux, nonstop creativity, made in Italy. And yes, it has a sparkle to it. <laughs> The silver part is sparkly, shimmery, beautiful. Look at this color right here. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. This feels like there's wool in it. 45% acrylic, 52% wool, 3% polyester. That is, oh, look at that. Look at <laughs> There's so many colors in this ball. This is so beautiful. This could be something for me. There's so much more in here still. <laughs> this is, let's see, this one is Azteca on the top. This one says Veronese, Veronese, 
This one does not have the sparkle, but it's beautiful. And it's actually, it's a bigger ball. It's so beautiful. I can see the bottom of the box, guys. Oh, beads. Those will go directly to Juju. Those are really pretty. So on behalf of Juju, thank you so much. Creative Wool. Isn't that beautiful? I love pink. 70% acrylic, 30% wool. It just feels nice. I mean, you can tell there's wool in there, but it feels nice. Oh, another, another one of these. <laughs> Is that another one of these? The Azteca. And it's got the gold glitter this time. So pretty. These are so my colors. Got another one of these to go with the purple. Ah, oh, that pink is so pretty. That is like bubblegum pink. Oh. Hang on, guys. <laughs> Trying to. And this one is very similar, but this one is twins instead of the the Azteca, but it's very similar. It's bulky and beautiful and squishy. Look at those colors, they're so gorgeous. Oh. This one is beautiful. Concept by Katya, Sinfonia. I feel like I'm doing an infomercial. It's not so beautiful, this is really soft too. Look at those colors, That this is me all day long. Absolutely beautiful. This one is 29% cotton, 25% alpaca, 25% wool, 21% polyamide. 557 yards. Is that not gorgeous? Australis. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. You may think I'm looking at myself when I'm looking at the camera. I'm looking at this yarn. I'm admiring it here and there. <laughs> it's so pretty. Oh. We're almost to the bottom. There's some more beads. Gold. Gold. Silver and gold. Silver and gold. Oh. The card is at the bottom. Look at, oh, that is so cute. So cute. I am a huge fan of your channel for many years now. Well, you have to be a huge fan to send me all of this because I saw how much shipping cost and I'm not worthy. <clears throat> I wanted to send you some yarns from Europe. I saw that you like Rico yarns. I do, in fact, like Rico yarns. So I've included some Rico yarns. I also want to say sorry for my English language because I speak, speak Dutch. Your English is phenomenal. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> you can unpack this package on YouTube as Happy Mail. Absolutely. I hope you enjoy the yarn. And if there are yarns you can't use, you can drop it at the thrift store or the Goodwill. Thanks for all your help on your channel. Keep, keep up the faith. Regards. I think her name is Anne. It's A N. <clears throat> On. <laughs> These yarns will not make it to the Goodwill ever. If anything, I will share them with my sister very happily. Um, maybe. <laughs> I'm not done. I'm not done. There's still four more skeins left, okay? And then I will let you go about your business. Again, amazing cakes, specials, Allison and May, 100% cotton. Here's the label. The 
these are the gorgeous, stunning, beautiful colors. This one's my favorite. Secondary, that one. But this one's a close second. Oh. And then Stenley, which I just saw this on another YouTuber's channel the other day. And I was jealous because I was like, oh, I'm going to, I'm just going to rip it. Just going to rip it. Nancy from She's Got Yarn was unboxing some of these cakes and I was like, oh, those colors are so bright and vibrant and beautiful. And this is a massive, massive muffin. <laughs> and it's got a little clover or shamrock on there. <clears throat> this yarn is made in Bulgaria. It is 100% acrylic. <laughs> I was like, I tried to read that. I was like, it's 100% something. So it says down here it's acrylic. It is very pretty. It is very thin, but I don't mind that at all. And I love these bright, bright. I can't believe how big this is. How many meters is this? Does it say? 2,000 meters. Holy mackerel. Okay, now. <laughs> I'm going to get personal. I might cry. I'm probably going to cry. I'm going to try not to cry, but I'm probably going to cry. Um, on and on. <laughs> Thank you so much because this was... She emailed me and asked if I wanted some yarns from Belgium. And I was like, yeah, awesome. I was expecting maybe like five or six skeins. Because I know how much international shipping costs. And there is a label on here that says exactly how much it costs. <laughs> so I was not, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that at all. I am absolutely overwhelmed. The little girl that lives inside of me is like freaking out because, um, when you grow up poor, you secretly dream of getting to travel and see things and experience the world. And you know, that's never going to happen. And while I am, I am not as poor as I was like, I, I do pretty good. You know, we do a lot of adventuring. Um, I also know, realistically, I will never probably travel outside of the continental USA because Mr. Cinnamon will not fly at all. And I'm not going by myself without him. So when I get stuff from all over the world from you guys, whether it be a postcard or this, it makes me feel like I'm traveling with you or that I'm visiting with you. You guys are sending me a piece of your home. No matter where you are in this world. I have gotten cards from South Africa, which is amazing to me. I've always wanted to go to South Africa. Always. That kind of stuff means so much to me. Whether you spent $7 to send me a postcard. <laughs> or this craziness. Um, I am not worthy. I am not worthy by... Any stretch of the imagination. I am so, so appreciative. The books. The coffee cup. The yarn. I also got... It's over there. <laughs> my friend Debbie sends me stuff all the time. I call her my friend because she has been my pen pal. Even though it's mostly been her just sending me stuff. She sent me calendar pages that made her think of me. They're over there. They will be going into my collection of letters and postcards. I keep everything. I have a big giant box under my desk. I am eternally grateful. Like I, sometimes I look at Mr. Cinnamon and I go, I don't know how I got this life. I have no idea how I got here. <laughs> I don't know what I did to deserve any of this, but how is this my life? How is this my life? It is amazing. So with that, I'm going to end this little section. I don't know where I'm going to connect this to or if this is going to be a video all by itself. Because I didn't realize I was going to talk for 30 minutes. <laughs>
Thank you. Thank you with everything in me. Every cell in my body, thank you. And it's not just thank you for the gifts. It's thank you for the constant love and support that I get on this channel, in my Facebook group, the messages, the emails, all of it. You guys all mean so much to me. And I know, I know that I don't deserve half of what you guys give me, but like, I am so appreciative and I love you and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye guys.